since gloomy old man winter is out there, Michael decided to cheer me up with an indoor picnic. I'm making the flowers, and Michael's making the forest creatures. Well, I'd, I'd love to join you two, but I have this damn reality to deal with. Stephanie, it's almost five o'clock. Have you dusted the bookcase yet? Joanna, I was going to, but as you can see, those top shelves are awfully high for a true petite. <laughs> and I couldn't find the ladder anywhere. I checked every window in the house, but I just couldn't find that draft, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, look. Recommended for use by true petites. <laughs> Stephanie, I want this bookcase dusted by the time we get back from shopping. George? Now, we'll be back in one hour. That gives you 55 minutes to put it off. <laughs> I don't know why I have to do this. Anyone stupid enough to look up there in the first place deserves a face full of dust. Oh! Oh! oh now, don't worry, young lady. A broken toe isn't serious. Of course, you uh, may have to stay off your feet for a while. Oh! <laughs> you know, uh, you're very lucky that it was uh, only the second rung of that ladder. How long will it take to heal? Oh, about two weeks or so. Doctor, that stay off my feet thing, could you put that in writing? <laughs> well, she certainly has a sense of humor. Not, not really. <laughs> now, I just want to say that I don't blame anyone for this, especially the obvious choice, Joanna. <laughs> Stephanie, I was just trying to get you to do your work. Well, I hope you think twice before you try that again. <laughs> It was my ladder. Why couldn't it have been my toe? Doctor, is there anything we should do for Stephanie? No, just keep the pressure off her foot. Now, young lady, you uh, don't be afraid to let other people do things for you. Yeah, you're, you're really going to have to drill that into her. Michael, it's only a broken toe. Oh, Michael, it was awful. Joanna forced me to climb this rickety old ladder. And when I finally got to the... Oh, it must have been the fifth rung. It broke and I crashed to the floor. Dear God, why? Excuse me, Lamb Chop. I, I just have to talk to the doctor. Dick... Okay, Doc, give me the real poop. I can take it. Will there be any scars? No. Of course, the nail may grow in a little crooked for a few weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dick, I expect whoever is responsible for this heinous crime be swiftly brought to account. You're, you're right, Michael. I'll have the ladder taken out and destroyed. <laughs> I'll do it, Dick. <laughs> no, you won't, George. Now, no one or thing is to blame. That's right, George. An accident can happen to anyone at any time. Gee, Dick, that's kind of a scary thought. You, you mean this, this never occurred to you before, George? <laughs> no. Wow. We're all a thread away from oblivion. Honey, what are we going to do for the next few weeks without a maid? We've got lots of reservations. Well, simple. We'll just hire a, a temporary maid. Do you think we can find anybody on such short notice who can do Stephanie's work? I don't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, Michael. This is so much fun. And just like a real picnic. <laughs> you know, Steph, even in illness, you look as perfect as you always do. I know. <laughs> well, I better get back to work. Oh, don't worry about that. The new maid will clean it up. Whoa, life is a picnic. Mm. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother, Daryl. And this is my other brother, Daryl. Well, I could stay a bit longer. <laughs> That's okay, Michael. Miss Stephanie, we hear you've been off your feed due to a defunct digit. Well, Daryl here is quite medically adept, and he's always held a special fascination for feet. 
<laughs> Thanks, Larry, but I think I'll just stick with the doctor I have. It never hurts to get a second opinion. I would have lost my arm once, but the second doctor just took the splinter out. Well, I'll just take my chances, Larry. Okay, but we did bring you a miracle salve that you yourself can apply to the affected appendage. <laughs> now, despite its tempting aroma, this is not to be taken internally. Could it possibly be taken out of my sight? <laughs> okay, have it your way. I ain't never seen anyone turn down free Ben Gay before. <laughs> Come on, Daryl. Bossy ain't picky about what we rub on her. How are you feeling, Stephanie? Just the same as I was when you checked 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Stephanie, you never know when, when an, an accident, accident might, might happen. happen. I brought you these. Thanks. I think I'd like to take a nap now, George. Okay. But rest safely. Your pillow can become your death mask. Excuse me, Mum. Mind if I tidy up a bit in here? Not at all, Sylvia. I like to watch other people work. Oh, no. <laughs> Not me. I prefer to do it myself. Ew. No wonder we beat your country in a war. <laughs> Don't forget to clean that up. Oh, you made this mess. Oh, I thought it might be one of these little forest creatures. Before you do that, you might puff up these pillows. Oh, right, Hope. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what they need. Mum said no one could puff pillows like me. I thought I was Mum. No, I'm talking about me Mum, Mum. Oh, she's back home in London. You know, she's going to be, what, oh, 75 this month? Ah, uh, a little fluffier, please. Oh, all right. Eh. Listen, if you don't mind my inquiring, how did you get that toe? Oh, I'm sorry. You must be fed up telling people about... I was climbing this enormous ladder, and I was all the way up to the tenth rung, when suddenly it broke, and I plummeted to earth. Oh, gee. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Oh, hello, madam, sir. Poor brave girl was just telling me about her frightful accident. What, what rung is she up to now? So, Stephanie, how are you feeling? We've, we've seen the doctor's note. It's going to take me a lot longer than I thought to recuperate. It's perfectly all right. There's no rush. There isn't? No, no, no rush at all. Sylvia, I know you've been working very hard, but if you get the time later, could you clean the dining room floor? Oh, it's already done, Mum. And waxed. And the kitchen floor, too. She's good. I didn't do the lobby because I ran out of wax. We're, uh, we're used to a bottle lasting six, eight months. <laughs> well, it's all right, though. I sweat, mopped, and double buffed. She's good. <laughs> well, I'd like to chat longer, but I've got windows to wash, grout to clean, and bowls to scrub. She's good. <laughs> you know... I'm feeling a little better. Maybe it won't take me as long as I thought to recuperate. Stephanie, take as long as you need. We're in good hands. And don't, don't lose that note. <laughs> Now, now, let's see, that's two breakfast specials and you're just going to have coffee, right? Excuse me, same as yesterday. Right, you are. She's good. I know, I know. What a shame we'll have to let her go when, when Stephanie recovers. We, we will have, have to let her go, right? Of course. You know, Stephanie will get better and then we'll, we'll have, to, have to let Sylvia go. Right? <laughs> Right. I mean, you know, otherwise we'd have we'd have two mates. <laughs> you know, one one maid terrific and 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 one one maid Stephanie. 
Dick, you're not thinking of replacing Stephanie. Oh, no, no. It never, never, never crossed my mind. <laughs> Besides, you know, after a while, Sylvia will probably start to slow down a little bit. Oh. And then she'll only be a hundred times better than Stephanie. <laughs> Morning, Dick. Joanna. Well, it's a big agenda for today. First, I've got to make sure all those stairs are completely secure. Next, I've got to put non-skid rubber mats in every bathtub. Then I've got, Dick, it's really better to take smaller bites. <laughs> George, I, I think I know how to eat. I've been doing it all my life. And we want that to continue, don't we, Dick? <laughs> They say you should chew each bite 25 times before you swallow. George, this is oatmeal. I know, but who's to say there isn't a lump with your name on it? George, I like living on the edge. George, don't you think you're overreacting to Stephanie's accident just a little bit? I just wish someone had been overreacting to that ladder. Dick, that coffee could be scalding hot. You should blow on it. George, I'm an adult. I know how to drink coffee. <laughs> Good coffee. Stephanie, you made it to breakfast this morning. Not yet, she hasn't. Want me to carry you, Stephanie? Thanks, George, but I have to get used to living with my handicap. I think we have a movie of the week in the making. <laughs> Here, sit in my chair. It seems pretty safe. It's nice to see you downstairs, Stephanie. Sure. I bet you really missed me. We did. Right, Dick? Right, right. I mean, believe me, things haven't, haven't been the same without you. You look a lot happier than you do when I'm serving breakfast. That's ridiculous. We're not happier, are we, Dick? No. <laughs> so, where is Miss Perfect, anyway? Look, Stephanie, Sylvia makes mistakes just like anybody else. Name one mistake she made. Well, she, uh, <clears throat> she kind of uh, dropped a, a plate of eggs before. Oh, she made a big mess. Well, actually, she caught the plate just, just before. It hit the <laughs> <clears throat> well, now, is everything all right, everybody? Hi, Steph. Is that, is that little toe still black and blue and cute all over? Michael, I'm going to be replaced by a foreign person. Steph, if you could take a second injury, I'd say bite your tongue. No one could replace you. Michael, the woman's a dynamo. In one day, she dusted all the rooms, cleaned the floors, and washed the windows. And I had Dick and Joanna convinced it takes a month to do all that. <laughs> Oh, Steph, relax. I, uh, I think I know Dick and Joanna pretty well. And they'll never dump my dumpling. Michael, today in the dining room, the guests applauded Sylvia. Your history, Steph. <laughs> oh, Michael. Think of it. My cupcake being replaced by a crumpet? Hey, dearie, I thought you might like a nice cup of tea. Oh, and I finished your shirt, sir. Michael! <laughs> But, Steph, my colors never look so vibrant. Now, look, miss, you drink your tea. At home, I really used to look forward to tea time. At home? Well, that's way over in England, right? London. Oh, London's wonderful. Don't you miss the Queen? <laughs> well, when I was there, we didn't get to see a lot of each other. But what about... 
Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, the pubs. A foggy day in London town. Had me low, had me down. Shopping at Harrods while the stupid tourists are in Westminster Abbey looking at dead people. And the British Museum had lost its charm. Well, actually, I don't miss London all that much. Not even your mom? Oh, me mum, mum? Oh, yeah, well, it would be nice to see that bright chip of smile again. And as for the many things she gave me. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen her in six years. She keeps writing, you know, wishing I'd visit. Oh, as for the other times she tried. Oh, Michael, stop, stop, stop. I, I can't do it. Look, Sylvia, stay here and work and save your money and... Bring your dear mother over and show her the States. That is a wonderful idea, Stephanie. Oh, thank you. Now you finish your tea. Head off. Steph, what gives? We had her. The British were going. The British were going. I just couldn't do it, Michael. She doesn't play fair. She's nice. Well, Steph, she may have you in that department, but you've got her in the... Oh, she's, she's got you in that department, too. Michael, do you think I could be a good maid? You mean one that actually does work? Yes, I mean, if I really, really, really tried. Do you want me to say yes, Steph? Oh, yes. I'll show them. I'll clean and I'll scrub and I'll make this place shine like never before. That's my little Hazel. On my way, Michael. Oh, my God. I'm fighting to keep a job I hate. <laughs> She's good. I said I'm feeling much better and I'm going to make this room sparkle like never before. Well, what? Well, Stephanie, that's nice of you, but I don't think this or any room needs to be cleaned. That's because you don't have the eye of a professional like me. Trust me, Joanna, there's work to be done here. Well, go ahead. The woman's sick. <laughs> ah. I don't need your charity. We're, we're not firing. We, we hired Sylvia as a, a temporary replacement. And when you're ready to return to work, then Sylvia and most of this shine will leave. Really? Really. Oh. Well, if I'm not as good as her, why are you keeping me? Uh, honey? We're keeping you because you're our regular housekeeper. Oh. Well, I don't want you to keep me out of pity, are you? Uh, honey? Stephanie, we would never keep you out of pity. This is a family inn, and you're part of our family. <laughs> You mean I'm sort of like a daughter? 
So, sort of. And so you love me? You're, you're sort of like a daughter. Oh, Dick, Joanna. That's one of the nicest things anybody ever said to me. You've made me very happy. What just happened here? I, th I think we just got rid of a great maid and adopted Stephanie. <laughs> Dick, you should hold on to the railing. George, once and for all, you can't spend your entire life worrying about an accident that might happen. You're making my life longer, but I'm hating it. All right, Dick. I'll do it for you. From now on, I'm just going to live my life and hope everything will be fine. What was that? The, the antlers fell and, and almost killed me. You nut! <laughs> well, I'm on my way, folks. Oh, could I rehang that for you? No, no I better get used to my old way of life. Oh, it is good to see you all well again, Mum. I want to thank you for being so nice to me, Sylvia. Oh, that's my pleasure, Mum. Would you like me to show you a trick to get that shinier? Yeah? No. <laughs> well, we're sorry to see you go, but I'm sure you'll find other work soon. You being perfect and all. <laughs> thank you, sir. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Sylvia, and thanks again for everything. All right. She was good. Bye. 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 Has the taxi pulled away? Yes. You know, we still have her phone number.